Coming up, we are going to talk about Azure Arc enabled data services and an exciting new feature which Arc brings to on premises and multi cloud environments. So, I'm here with Jess Schultz, Senior Program Manager in the Azure Arc enabled data services team. Hi, Jess, how are you doing? Good morning, Thomas. I'm doing great. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. So, it's exciting to have you on the show. Um, today, we are going to talk about a new feature in Azure Arc enabled data services uh, in the business critical tier uh, of Azure Arc enabled data services uh, called the in place upgrade. Now, before we actually dive into that feature specifically, um, can you tell us a little bit uh, more about Azure Arc and specifically about Azure Arc enabled data services and how customers can leverage that? I'd love to. Azure Arc is part of Microsoft's greater hybrid strategy. Um, we are trying to meet customers where they are right now for things like manageability, observability, security, and governance. We recognize that many customers want to move to Azure, but um, whether it be for data sovereignty issues, regulatory requirements, um, government requirements, they may not be able to. So with that in mind, the Azure Arc family of products and Azure Arc enabled data services in particular really brings Azure to the customer. And we can do that um, not only on premises, but also in edge locations and even other publicly available clouds. So building on top of that, Arc enabled data services is really striving to bring the entire Azure PaaS experience with data uh, to the customers on top of that Azure Arc offering. When we you know, encapsulate a full platform as a service offering and make it available, it's um, allowing us to bring benefits like the always current database engine that we'll be discussing today, uh, built in high availability and disaster recovery, um, the elastic scale that you can get with Azure and even the cloud billing model. Oh, that's fantastic. And to me, it's still incredible that we can bring these Azure PaaS services to customers in their on-premises environment and even in the multi-cloud environment, because that allows them to build like a consistent architectures for their application and environments, uh, and they can actually rely on these uh, higher level services. Now, um, we're obviously here to talk about Azure Arc enabled data services and the new feature uh, called in-place upgrade or always current. Can you talk us a little bit uh, uh, more about this? Absolutely. So with Azure Arc enabled data services uh, in place or automated upgrades being available, we're bringing the experience much closer to that of what's available in Azure right now. So in Azure, when you have a data service like an Azure SQL database or an Azure SQL managed instance, uh, you know you're always on the latest version of the database engine, you get those security upgrades automatically. Um, as an administrator, you don't have to do that work. So with the launch of the business critical tier in the Azure Arc enabled SQL managed instance, we're bringing that same experience to on-premises environments, edge environments, multi-cloud environments. So this is that same truly PaaS experience. Um, you as a infrastructure admin, data admin, developer, uh, don't have to spend the time to plan and do the upgrades. They are simply provided to you, making sure that you always uh, have the latest features and the most recent security enhancements. Um, so. It, currently, the data control plane upgrades are done by the user. The managed instances can then be automatically upgraded after that's done. Um, in the future, what we're going to be uh, offering are even more uh, offerings for managed instances where you can say um, upgrade one set one day and upgrade another set another day. 
and we'll also make those data control plane upgrades automatic in the future as well. Oh, that, that sounds fantastic. And again, I love that we obviously can take advantage of these like services we built in Azure, but again, bring these to our environment on-prem. And speaking of that, um, what are the biggest differences now between this new experience and what we could have used on-premises before? So I started my career as a SQL Server database administrator, and I have, um, you know, both as a DBA and then as a consultant, done many migrations from, say, SQL 2005 to SQL 2012, or 2012 to 2016, and so on and so forth. And these upgrades are usually major operations that take place every couple of years. They involve a lot of planning, a lot of downtime, potentially breaking changes that can interrupt an, an application. With this new PaaS model, where we're providing more frequent incremental upgrades, we no longer have to have that experience. We get to do the small upgrades that always make you on the current version. You don't have those big major version changes any longer. It really allows uh, a, a data administrator to kind of scale out. It saves a lot of time and a lot of money for the company. Yeah, that is that is truly incredible. And I, I love the, the, this feature. Um, now, so I know that Azure Arc Enabled Data Services uh, offers two different modes, right? One is the direct connected mode, which basically is for customers who are connected through the Azure Control Plane. And, and obviously that's a great experience, but not for every customer, right? Some of them, mm -hmm. they have challenges with these uh, connections or they have a bad or unreliable connection. Um, so there's also the indirect connected mode. Now, my question about the in-place upgrade feature, what is the difference when you run in one or the other mode? Well, the great news is for customers that this in-place upgrade feature works in both modes. We realize that being able to be on the latest engine and have all the security updates is a, a really important feature. So we've made this available for both directly connected and indirectly connected customers. Uh, we also, when publishing our images, do publish them to our Microsoft Container Registry, but we also allow customers to pull them into their own private registries. So that's a way that we can enable both the directly and indirectly connected scenarios. Okay, that is awesome because again, this allows us to basically uh, maintain rolling upgrades in, in both scenarios and our customers can really use that uh, depend not depending on the, on the mode itself. Now, you, now we're coming to the even better part. Uh, you prepared a couple of demos for us to actually show us how that works. Uh, one, I think, is the SQL Managed Instance Upgrade, and then also one for the Azure Arc Data Controller itself, right? Yes, let's start by taking a look at the in-place upgrade of the Data Controller. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to view available upgrades for your Data Controller and perform that upgrade on the Azure Portal. So here I'm viewing an Azure Arc Data Controller on the portal. On the overview blade, I can see a notification one or more upgrades are available for this data controller. On the upgrade management blade, I can see the newer versions that are available and view their release notes. To perform the upgrade, I would go to the version I'm interested in and select Upgrade Now. To apply the upgrade, I would select Upgrade. The upgrade is in progress. If I go back to the data controller and go back to the upgrade management blade, I can see that now there is my controller has been upgraded to the 2.25 version and the 3.8 version is now available. I could repeat this process to upgrade to the latest version. That was great and so simple. 
We've tried to make that experience as easy as possible for our customers. So do you have something else to show us? So after we've updated that control plane, we also have to update our Arc enabled SQL managed instances. We have this in place upgrade feature where when you set the managed instance version to automatic, it automatically updates those instances. Let's take a look at that demo. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to enable automatic upgrades of your Azure Arc enabled SQL managed instance. For this example, I have a data controller with two managed instances built, MIGP002 and MIGP004. The first step to enable auto upgrades is to set the desired version property of the managed instance to auto. I do this with the AV SQL MI ARC upgrade command, passing in the parameter desired version and setting that to auto. After that runs, I can view the SQL MI spec. And we'll notice that a new property has been added for updates where desired version is set to auto. With this set, after a data controller upgrade is performed, within five minutes of the upgrade process for every managed instance attached to that data controller with the auto version set will begin upgrading. Let's see this in action. I'm going to upgrade my data controller. So I'll start by viewing the available upgrades. I can see that several versions are available. I want to upgrade to the next major release. I'm going to do this with the AZ Arc Data DC Upgrade command. I can see that my data controller has been upgraded. The image tag is now 225. Let's look at the status of the managed instance MIGP002 prior to that data controller upgrade. Before the upgrade began, it was in the state ready with the version ending in 1-27. Now that it's been a few minutes since the data controller upgrade finished, let's check the status of the managed instance. Here, I can see that the state has changed to updating. The running version still shows the current image tag ending in 127. I didn't have to run any upgrade command. Having it set to auto kicked off this update process in the background. I want to check the status of the other managed instance on this data controller, MIGP004, this is also upgrading. And I can see that it is. The state here is updating. I'm going to check on MIGP002 again. And now I can see that my automatic upgrade is complete. The state says ready, and the version tag has been changed to 225. I can see that MIGP004 has also been upgraded automatically to the latest image tag. 
Oh wow, that was that was awesome. Um, so you showed us the automatic part. Is there also a way for customers to do it to do it manually? Yes, we understand that there not every customer wants that experience, especially for um, sensitive data or environments they really need full control over. So we also have a manual upgrade experience. I have a demo of that to show for you too. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to view available upgrades for your Azure Arc enabled SQL managed instance and perform the upgrade using the Azure CLI. Here, I'm in the portal looking at an Arc enabled SQL managed instance. On the upgrade management blade, I can see my current version and I can see that an upgrade is available. I'm going to perform this upgrade using the CLI. When I'm ready to begin, I run the AZ SQL MI-ARC upgrade command. I can monitor the progress of the upgrade with the AZ SQL MI-ARC show command. During the upgrade, the state will show updating and the running version will remain equal to the current version. The upgrade will happen with minimal downtime. In the general purpose tier, the containers in the pod will be upgraded and reprovisioned. So this does cause a short amount of downtime as the new pod is created. In the business critical tier with multiple replicas deployed, the containers in the replica pods are upgraded and reprovisioned. When this is complete, the primary will fail over to a replica and then be upgraded. This will cause a short amount of downtime during the failover between replicas. The upgrade is complete. I can verify the upgrade is complete by running the AZ SQL MI-ARC show command again. The state now shows ready and the running version has been updated to the current version. In the portal, I can see that my managed instance is now up to date to the latest image. Thank you, Jess, that was great. Um, can you tell me a little bit, what challenges do we address with these features for our ARC customers? This in-place upgrade feature really brings both direct and indirect cost and time savings to our customers. By enabling automatic upgrades, it allows a DBA to really scale out. They're able to do more work, right? More upgrades uh, in less time. They also allow the DBA and the application developers and the analysts to take advantage of new features as soon as they're available. Right? You don't have to, with your application, wait for the data team to plan the release to the next major version. It's just there in a much uh, faster period of time. Um, it also really helps avoiding that lengthy and sometimes costly downtime during the major upgrades, um, especially if you know you had to ever move hardware. Um, again, these take place in place. There's minimal downtime during the upgrades and you have the latest and greatest right away. This has been great. Thank you very much, Jess. Uh, we have two more videos coming up with two more exciting feature sets for Azure Arc enabled data services. One really is about uh, business continuity um, using high availability DR automated backup and restore. And the other one showing security features 
directly integrated into the solution. Uh, but in the meantime, if I now want to learn more about Azure Arc enabled data services and in place upgrade in, in especially, uh, where do I go? I suggest you start with our documentation, which is going to be at aka.ms slash arc data docs. You can also go out to the Microsoft Learn content, uh, that's aka.ms slash arc data learn, where we have these great step-by-step -step modules that introduce you to uh, all of the concepts and how to build on them. And when you're ready to start it hands-on, you can access a trial version and explore what Azure Arc has to offer at aka.ms slash arc trial. Thank you very much. And thank you everyone watching. Uh, if you want to learn more about our hybrid and multi-cloud architectures, check out our cloud adoption framework and the Azure Architecture Center.